in the crowd. Yanwa putting out two Englishmen on his way to this final. Kevin Jolly, who had to retire hurt in the second game. And then Steve Badley in the quarterfinals. pretty equally spread and Morton Frost who's a great realist rates his chances as only 40-60 and he insists that that is not false modesty and there is the short serve straight away as Derek was saying Good first rally for Frost. He was early in on the net. One love. He must dominate this net and continue to try and keep the shuttlecock going downwards against his opponent. Just a little eyeball to eyeball confrontation. And the shuttle dropped over on. Yanwa's side to give him the service back. It's in fact their fifth meeting in top class competition. And the record stands at two matches each. But the last two that have been played have both been won by Yanwa. Couple of nervous shots from Yanwa. He's got the great uh, repertoire of winning shots. So Morton must stick to his tactic very carefully here. Morton Frost not only representing Denmark, but also the whole European game really taking the badminton battle to those from the Far East. That's the power that Yanwa has. And also so impressive, the direction of his smashing. That's right, it's the deception of the man that is really difficult. Uh, power and pace is one thing, but when you don't know where it's going to, you really have a problem. Love. That one was just directed out after Frost had been wrong-footed. One or two nervous shots from Yanwa. Quite natural for someone of his age playing in the final of such a big event. Down to serious business now. He's got the service back. No left-hander has won this tournament since the war in the men's singles. So the 20-year-old Yan Hua is trying to alter the course of badminton history. Well, Frost's defense is very good, but not good enough against a severe attack such as that. So severe it was that another string broke and Yanua changed his racket. Just decided he'd like to test that one. Morton Frost. Not letting Yanwa get off the mark. 
So often Frost's policy is to wear opponents down, but he realises that that would be the wrong course. He's got to get a grip on this match from the outset. Six, love. And that scoreline shows that he's been successful so far. Seven, love. As soon as Morton Frost lifts it in the air, he's in trouble. Seven over, love seven. Power, athleticism, and tactical appreciation the ingredients of this final. Seven, over, seven love. Yes, Morton kept the shuttlecock low throughout the early part of that rally, but eventually was forced to lift. And just can't do anything with this attack from Yanwa. But it's at the net that Yanwa is making his mistakes, and he's made plenty of them. Certainly, the young Chinese player is entitled to have some big occasion nerves. Frost's been through it all before. Eight, love. Frost doing just what he said he would do, dominating that net. It's so difficult to play a delicate shot when you're very nervous. And Yanwa just hasn't got his touch at all. Frost being over ambitious. get his first point of the final yes he'll feel an awful lot better for that One, nine. well I don't think Frost expected young water to return that smash outmaneuvered by the younger man. Although it's Yanwa's first appearance in these championships, he toured England in November with the Chinese national team. I think I'm right in saying was unbeaten on that tour. That's right, Steve Baddeley played three set match against him, but no Englishman managed to beat him. Example of why. Three, nine. It's a cosmopolitan crowd in the Wembley Arena, 
and those perhaps based in this country from Chinese origin uh, reveling in watching a young Chinese player of rare talent and great potential still got a lot to do of course against Frost Perhaps an appropriate Whoa. moment, Derek, to just tell us a little about the Wembley drift as Yan Hua was worried about letting that uh, clear drop. That's right. It's such a big arena that uh, the shuttlecock weighing only about 78 to 80 grains tends to move in the natural circulation of the hall. And uh, one has to keep a very careful eye on the shuttle because it's so easy for it to catch the drift and then just go out. He's made his mind up that he's going to attack this game. An almost impossible shuttle to smash, but he had a go. I'm sure he realizes that uh, Frost has taken the initiative and is playing a flat game, trying to attack him, and he's determined to get his own back somehow. Ten, five. This time it's Frost who has a problem with the racket. <laughs> Tremendous leap in the jump smash and almost a superb reply from Frost. It just hit the tape. But the legs on this man, Yanwa, are so very strong. They're like coiled springs, full of energy. And he's the perfect build for a badminton player with a very light upper body and yet strong in those quad muscles. Crossed past the man. Set over, 10-6. quality shot crossed on his heels expecting the smash Six, indeed a very nicely disguised cut drop was the shot that Yanwa won the point with Six, over. Ten, six. a more consistent play coming from Frost Yanwar has mixed the spectacular with the erratic. 11, six. He really does look cool. Frost very determined and single-minded in his efforts to take this title. No margin for error when Frost over, lifts the shuffle. Six, much better than that first class rally tremendous movement across the court and a great deal of turning required by both players cross rather snatching on the backhand
Frost determined not to put his racket over the net. Just clip that one nicely down. The racket over the net would have lost him the point. So it's over. Six, twelve. Close, but it was out. So it's over. Twelve six. Morton Frost, highly intelligent man, as well as a great athlete. Very much a national hero in Denmark. Six. Well, you can be sure this final will be reported on the front pages of the newspapers as well as in the sports sections. So game point for the champion. Game. First game to Morton Frost. The man who's on his way to becoming a badminton millionaire. First game by Morton Frost. That's right, he's the largest uh, contract holder in this game, earning over a million Danish crowns a year on a five-year contract. That's some £100,000. And together with his prize money and other sponsorship, he actually earns in excess of £200,000 a year. But he's a man who uh, has got fairly modest taste. And uh, really, he's not one for very many luxuries in life. His interests include a variety of other sports, especially football. And he was telling me before the final that he follows Derby County. The result of watching English matches on Danish television when he was much younger and Derby were winning the league title and not as they are now in the third division. One love. One must pay tribute to the tactical performance of Frost in the first game. Superb uh, mover and striker of the shuttlecock, but really it was the way that he thought out the game, consistently controlled the net and continued to take the attack to his opponent, Yanwa. Steps over. One, love. Good. Sent over. Love one. Well, the Anwar, we talked about his attacking capabilities but he had to defend One, defend four. he did with great determination and skill before winning the the point certainly did i think frost made the mistake of smashing to what he thought would be the backhand of his opponent but of course being a left-hander yanwa was standing covering the forehand return Two 
Morton, Morton Frost first played in the All England Championships back in 1976. Over. Two, three. The net cord favouring the Chinese player. Yeah. Very hard when the Real. smash comes directly at you. Just too much angle from Frost. Four, three. Oh, well, that was a very tight call. Certainly from here it looked in, but Linesman was closer to the shot. Gave an out call in favour of Frost. crowds here at Wembley know all about Morton Frost but they've been learning about the skills of Yan Hua this week and you could sense before the finals began that the electricity that this contest had engendered amongst the followers Service back with Morton Frost. Aya. Four. A cry of disappointment from a young player who's more volatile in his temperament than some of the Chinese. The angle was absolutely perfect. Over. Four. Yes, Morton mustn't lose his concentration and feed shuttlecocks up into the air because this man has too many variations of attack. Yanwa right was Five, sure it was four. going to drop out. His judgment was right. Frost, six foot two inches tall, and as a young high jumper, could leap his own height. Final. Yanwa trying just too much there to avoid Frost at the net. His net shot was just a little too tight, and he knew that he had to across the full length of the court to try and avoid the rack of frost. easing in front in the second game and leading by one game to love. Still a few nervous shots there from Yanwa. He's very much more into the match now but uh, seems to occasionally come forth with an unforced error and then the next minute he's uh, displaying some of his beautiful attack such as that cut drop smash that we saw down there on the backhand side of Frost. The apology from Frost. Touch of good fortune. 
which every champion needs, of course. Example of Frost not really knowing where the smash is coming to. He wields the racket like a bludgeon. Steps over. Seven, six. Given good. Frost took a chance and tried to get out the way of the shuttle, I think, in the hope that it would have gone out. Six, seven. Steps over. Seven. Just a little groan of disappointment from the crowd. And I think we'd love to see this match being extended into a third game. And Yanwa is doing his best to oblige. Six, With so much power, the shuttle's very vulnerable to damage, regularly changed. And it's out. Seven all. So the score's now level at seven all. can draw on his Eight, victories seven. over Morton Frost in the Scottish Open and then the Japanese Open. <laughs> crowd enjoying these little outbursts in quite incomprehensible Mandarin. Well, that's the chance Frost takes. He knows he has to attack his opponent. But on that occasion, he wasn't able to cover the gap that appeared in the court. Just a contrast in styles we're witnessing, a contrast in temperaments as well. The flamboyant Chinese player and the inscrutable, in fact, Dane. He enjoyed that. And so did the crowd. That was incredible. He had his back to the net and decided a rather ambitious backhand smash, which came off beautifully for him. Rally. 
Yes, now we're seeing the sort of rallies that the Chinaman Yanhua will want to play. He, of course, won that very long rally and he had plenty of opportunities to smash. And when you have the artillery, the deception, of course, is an added weapon. Frost rocking back, expecting the power. That's right, it's uh, very, very difficult when you know that the opponent can hit that thing really, really hard. And it just makes you all the more vulnerable for the deceptive drop. He's in the mood now. He's lifting the crowd in the Wembley Arena with him. Suddenly, the second game is slipping away from Morton Frost. 12, 7. Yes, Frost running out of ideas. He's certainly clearing far too often in the rallies. I think he has to be prepared to take his man on at the net and indeed in the fast and flat exchanges that will take place. <laughs> 13, 13, 7. 7. judged in the end by Frost. And he sensed that he needed to win that rally. Not just for the significance in this particular game, but for his own morale. Well, these are very important points for Frost. He realises that Jan Waz played himself into this game and really a big effort to try and win the contest in two sets is almost the only way that perhaps he can do it. hardly thought there was room to drop the shuttle over the net and keep it in court. He hasn't always been as deft as he would like at the net, Yanwa. But that really was superbly played. And the Chinese contingent draw their support at game point. Opportunity missed. Over, 10, That's the coach, Carsten Moll from Denmark, looking a little nervous there. I wonder what advice he would give to Frost now. Yeah! 
another smash of stupendous velocity over, 14, 10. game point once more the opportunity when in fact Yanwa had the chance to smash for the game decided to drop and Frost was ready for it but the reprieve may only be temporary the crowd here quite delighted by the, almost the little commentary that Yanwa is giving through the rallies and he has the game the final the third and decisive game of the 1985 men's singles final Continuing where he left off. One Very interesting contest so far with a tactical victory for Frost in the first game. And Yanwa playing his way back into the match in the second with lots of attacking shots. And I think that it's a question of the one who attacks the most here is going to win. So often the basic Love. premise of badminton. attacking the service so difficult to return those spin net shots from Yanwa Frost unable to find the back of the court on his lift and of course the attack of Yanwa was too severe controlled net shot he's getting that shuttle to turn a complete somersault and it's very difficult to choose the moment to go in and play against the base of the shuttle at times Yanwa playing with the impetuosity of youth originally announced when he came here as a 19 year old we were under that misapprehension for much of the week but informing the organizing committee before the final that he's in fact 20 now That's good well frost has to try for that he's pressing the attack but on that occasion the defense of yanwa was supreme Certainly Frost's net shot was almost impossible to return. Well, it looked as though he could have hit that one. He can't afford to let the opportunities go by, I'm afraid. It's his fourth consecutive appearance in the men's singles final. 
here at Wembley. Winner in 82. Runner-up the following year. And then a year ago, he beat the M3 King from Indonesia. Well, it's not often that you get an outburst like that from Morton Frost. Yanwa can take some credit from that. Typical reaction from an English crowd. Morton Frost started as favourite. Much of the uncommitted support. The Chinese player, Yan Hua. But suddenly Frost has become the underdog. Uh, I think the crowd was sympathising at those two fairly easy misses that Frost made at the net. And has his confidence gone? Five, one. Really a time when uh, he must take full control of all his mental ability. Over the years, Morton Frost has worked hard at his mental application. He certainly, early in his career, wasn't as strong in that department as he is now. much frost say that was a good few inches out the back and he's trying just too hard now it really is such a pity because uh, Europe as an entity is battling in this game of badminton against the supremacy of the Eastern countries. Eight, one. And so in the final game, the first two eight points, there's a change of ends. And Morton Frost will need a change of fortune and indeed a change of approach if he's going to save his title. And it's amazing how these fortunes can change. In the first game, Yanwa was obviously very nervous, and now he's thriving on such confidence. service back and in desperate need of a run of points. Two, eight. And the receiver was faulted for moving before the shuttle was struck. from Sprost. 
He returned fire with fire then. So it's over. Eight, four. Four, eight. More joy for the Frost supporters. Five, eight. has carried all before him in his run up to the final a vastly different matter now critical point of the match. Januar, his confidence sky high now. Ten, five. from the Chinese player that created the opening for his smash. 11-5. Our third successive victory over Morton Frost, which is what it would be, is prize enough for Yan Hua, but to do it here, it's a tremendous performance. If we can maintain the impetus. Good defensive work though by Frost. Straight over, five, eleven. Well, certainly the defence of Frost is uh, immaculate, but unfortunately there always seems to eventually appear a gap when Yanwa finds it. No gap there, right at the body of Frost. Very, very difficult shot to return. there after really having to stretch very far into his forehand at the baseline. Well, fine. Tried the cross but missed the tram line by some inch. Yanwa wasn't totally sure and looked straight at the line judge for confirmation. Great defensive play again from Frost. But it's dropped in. The champion 13, is on the verge five. of losing his crown. Frost 
you can be sure will battle to the very last point. Constricted rally from Frost. He really must continue to hit the shuttle top downwards, even if not at all times hard. See, once he lifts, he's in real trouble against the big gun of Yanwa. The net's still quivering. The shuttle Six, didn't 30. go over. 6.13. No matter how good a defence a player has, invariably in the end, the person who attacks comes out winner. If Frost's grip is weakening, he's not letting go yet. Oh. Too much disguise. Seven thirteen. There must be a physical effect in trying to smash continuously for such a long time. Perhaps Yanwa walking slowly around the court could do with a breather. Ross fights back. Nine thirteen. Anticipated by Frost, Shuttle was out, and Yang Wah asking to change. 10.13. So Frost serves at 10.13 with a new shuttle. <laughs> well, whatever was said between player and coach during the break 11, at the midpoint 13. of this third and decisive game it's been effective for Morton Frost yeah. some of the crowd on their feet well it's great stuff from Frost he's back to the tactic of the first game attacking his opponent oh. And Yanwa showing signs of tiredness now, unable to continue to attack even when given the opportunity. And Yanwa walks off the court in disbelief. And of course now is the opportunity when Yanwa has the opportunity to set for five points. Setting to five points, level. And that is the choice. So the best of five points now wins his title. Real sudden death. Service over. Love all. A slender margin of error. One love. Ah. The first player 
to five wins in the setting procedure. Two love. And Yanwa has sprinted into a two love lead. Yes, and he finds the point at the forehand of Frost. I think Frost's backhand defence is the better of the two wings. But really, he can't afford to lift the shuttlecock at this vital stage. It really was the smash of the match. At the perfect time to... And the perspiration that's dropping from Frost's body is causing him to slip on the court, so he's taking the opportunity to wipe it with his towel. final really in the great tradition of the All England Championship. Ross back in it. Service passes back to Yanwa. Two points now from the title. We'll have to wait a little longer. If he is going to take the crown from Morton Frost. Certainly a battle of the minds at this stage, and that was a sign that perhaps Yanwar is just slightly starting to crack in his own mind. this would be if Morton Frost can seize victory. The balance switches back to Yanwa. Three, two. Gordon had to lift there and of course the error came again from his forehand defence. Championship point and Xiao Yanhua on the verge of making history in this tournament. managed to hang on there throughout that really long attack. It's taken its effect. He misses this simple shot to the net. Four, one, two. Four, two. And the second championship point for the 20-year-old Xiao Yanhua. Oh, yeah. 